Hey folks, 1225 at the moment and just a matter of minutes we will be going under a heat advisory which most of Texas is under at the moment where you see all that orange is that heat advisory uh, where we see the pink that heat warning is in effect for the northwestern part of Texas. Here in the valley only three of our counties are under that heat advisory at the moment. Hidalgo, Willacy and Cameron. It will be feeling like those temperatures will be between 111 and 116 and it will be in effect all the way till 7 p.m. So it's very important that we take caution because these warm temperatures, hot temperatures will be here for today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow for the rest of this week. Perhaps for this weekend, we'll see a cool down. We'll talk a little more about that in just a few minutes. Currently at 95 over McAllen, 97 in Edinburgh, 95 in Fort Isabel, and we will continue to rise to the triple digits for McAllen, Rio Grande City, Edinburgh, Westlaco, Raymondville, Harlingen, everyone except South Padre Island. We will be reaching those temperatures in the triple digits for today, tomorrow, and for the day after tomorrow. Now take a look at winds. We're seeing pretty windy, gusty conditions over in Harlingen, Raymondville, Port Isabel, 24 miles per hour in Brownsville. So it's going to continue a bit breezy for today. Across Texas, mostly dry. We're not seeing much activity for today. We're expecting a small 10% rain chance for our valley due to some sea breeze that could be pushing through. Now take a look over to the uh, eastern part of the United States. We're seeing a little more rain. So if you have any plans to travel today, or if you have any family traveling, keep in mind that they, there could be a few flights that could be delayed due to that activity that we're seeing over to the east, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, receiving much of that rain at the moment. Here in Texas, there's actually a cold front pushing through to over at the north in Amarillo. They're seeing cooler conditions reaching 89 degrees over to the center of Texas, 93 in Austin, 91 in San Antonio, here in the south, 95. And we're expecting for those temperatures in Texas to continue pretty hot throughout the rest of this week. Now, currently, Currently across the valley, we're seeing dry conditions. We could expect a slight 10% rain chance. A few showers could be popping up, mostly towards the eastern part of the county. Over in Hidalgo County, we cannot say that those rain chances are out of the books, but we could be expecting some. Most of Star County will remain mostly dry throughout today. Now for tomorrow, dry conditions all around for all four counties. We're expecting for those rain chances to also stay dry on Wednesday. So a 10 for today, dry for Tuesday and Wednesday. No need for that umbrella. Uh, maybe a good idea to wash your car. Not under the heat during the middle of the day, of course. But see, see this, these rain chances, a 20 for the coast, a 10 for the middle of the valley. And then most of Star County will be remaining dry for today. Now, the rain that we received yesterday, which was a lot, we is pretty good for that drought monitor. We're seeing that. Uh, most of the activity over in the valley has been pretty dry throughout the last couple of days. Now, yesterday was the exception. We saw some some thunderstorms, even some hail in parts of the valley. Our drought monitor showing us that uh, most of Hidalgo County is already under that yellow portion. That peachy color means that it's pretty moderate in that area. Now let's talk about the tropics. We're seeing a little a bit of activity over at the Atlantic actually, and we're going to go ahead and zoom in. We're seeing a tropical storm close to the Lesser Antilles, and this same tropical storm is expected to continue to move eastward, northeastward, which could potentially bring possibly even some showers or activity close to the Florida areas. San Juan, Puerto Rico could also possibly be seeing some activity. They are cautiously looking at this throughout today. Now for us, we're expecting 102 for today, partly cloudy, a bit breezy with winds coming in from the south, southeast from 15 to 20 miles per hour, wind gust up to 25. Then for tonight, we drop to 81, mostly clear, a bit breezy. Now let's take a look at your seven day forecast. Thanks to our AccuWeather, uh, we're expecting for those temperatures to remain in the triple digits all the way till Thursday, Friday. We're finally going to jump back into the two digits, 99, 97. We could potentially see some isolated storms on Saturday and Sunday. That was a look at your first one five AccuWeather forecast. We'll be right back.